How much stronger are male dogs compared to the female dogs? It's a question we get asked a lot and the answer might surprise you. Yes, male dogs usually have more muscle mass, more weight and more aggression on the surface. But here's what's interesting. The females have surprised us multiple times on this channel. You see, female dogs often have something else on their side. Maternal instinct, natural protectiveness and a no-nonsense attitude. They're often less playful, more focused and sometimes even more serious when it comes to defending their handler or family. So when it comes to real protection work, do females actually outperform the males? And how much of a difference will we find in their bite force? Let's find out. So we've already established on this channel that bite force isn't always about the size or the breed of the dog. Sometimes it comes down to one thing, the intent. The dog that really means business is often the one that delivers the most powerful bite. And now up to this point, we've tested mostly male dogs on the channel, but there have been a few females that genuinely caught our attention, and not just for their numbers. When it comes to protection work, the females often approach the job very differently. While males can sometimes be playful, overconfident, or even get distracted easily, the females are often more locked in, focused, and dead serious about the job that they're performing. And when you think about it, it does make sense. They're wired to protect, maternal instinct, survival instinct, and a no-nonsense attitude. At the end of the day, they're hard-coded to keep their family, their puppies, or their handlers safe from danger. Let us know in the comments, if you've owned both male and female dogs, do you notice a difference in their protective instincts? And do your females sometimes take the job a bit more seriously than the males? First up, let's take a look at Karma, the Doberman. Now, Karma was one of the highest scoring Dobermans we tested on that day and she left a serious impression. But what really stood out wasn't just her peak bite force, it was the consistency of her grip. While some dogs will clamp hard at first and then relax, sometimes dropping to zero or just a few kilos, Karma didn't really ease off. She held a steady reading of 20, 30, even 40 kilograms across the entire duration of the bite. Now this tells me that it wasn't really a playful bite, this was real pressure maintained over time, even through fatigue. And Dobermans are already known for their natural protection drive, but Karma is the perfect example of that serious, focused, no-nonsense female attitude. Next up, we have Cersei, the band dog. Now, Cersei was actually one of the smaller band dogs that we tested on the day. But don't let that fool you, because her performance was anything but small. From the moment she came out, she locked eyes on the decoy and didn't hesitate. Her drive is absolutely through the roof. She committed to the sleeve like she had a point to prove, and maybe she did. What shocked us the most was her score. Easily one of the most impressive readings we got from any band dog on that day, male or female. And just like Karma the Doberman, Cersei didn't just score high once, her readings showed multiple strong peaks with a consistently high average bite force across the entire engagement. This is the kind of bite you get when the dog isn't playing games. This is a dog biting like her life or her family's life depended on it. Now let's take a step back for a second because there's something worth noting here. Band dogs, by design, are a serious breed. They were bred to combine the raw power of mastiffs with the intensity and drive of working bull breeds. But when you add female temperament into that mix, you often get a dog that's less showy, more focused, and laser locked on the job. They don't have that look at me energy that some dominant males might have. They just get the job done with precision and purpose. There's also something called maternal defensive aggression. And in the animal world, it's one of the most powerful instincts that you can trigger. It's not about dominance or ego, it's about protecting what matters. And that can make female protection dogs deadly serious when it's time to work. And Cersei embodied that. She didn't come out to show off, she came out to buy, and she definitely bit hard.
Next up, we've got Ninja, a female Dutch herder that featured on the channel all the way back in the early days. And let me tell you, Ninja was an absolute beast. She topped our power to weight ratio leaderboard for quite some time, meaning that pound for pound, she had a more powerful bite than any male we had tested at that time. Her performance wasn't just strong, it was relentless. She hit the sleeve like she'd been waiting her whole life for that moment. No hesitation, no games, all business. And the wildest part was, as the session went on, her bite force just kept climbing. While most dogs begin to fatigue and taper off, Ninja was quite the opposite. Her, num her numbers just kept going up and up. And at one point I remember thinking, is this even a dog or is she some kind of bite force robot? Now let's compare Ninja to Boyce, a male Malinois and a great protection dog in his own right. Now these dogs are a similar size and similar breed. Boyce showed up, focused and scored really high. In fact, he gave one of the strongest single bite scores we've seen from a Malinois. He's powerful, lean, driven, everything that you'd expect from a top tier working male. And on paper, Boyce should have the edge. He's slightly heavier than Ninja, with more visible muscle and a big engine behind him. But the reality, he didn't actually outscore her. Ninja's average buy and consistency across the session put her ahead. And it makes you wonder, was it the mindset? Was Ninja just more committed? Did she take the bite more seriously than he did? Because while boys can bite hard, Ninja made sure that she did every single time. So next up, we've got Tink. Possibly the most enthusiastic female that we've had on the channel to date. And I'm not gonna lie, the moment she launched at the sleeve, I had one very clear thought. I think this dog is trying to rip my arm off. The level of intent the locked in, all gas, no brakes type of bite is something that you just can't teach. And considering already. Tink's size, the bite force score was seriously respectable. But it's not just about numbers. It's the drive, the energy, and the mental focus, all wrapped into a smaller, lighter frame. This is what makes female Dutch herders so special. Dutch shepherds, especially those from working line stock, are bred for intensity, obedience, and pressure tolerance. But when you look at the females specifically, you'll often see something that sets them apart. Less ego and more focus, faster recovery between reps, incredible environmental stability, and a relentless, almost mechanical bite commitment. They're not trying to show off, they're trying to get the job done. That's why you'll find that female Dutch herders are used across police units, military canine divisions, and private security all around the world. They're preferred in many cases because they're more biddable, less reactive and often more methodical than the males. And Tink is a perfect, perfect example of that. You can see the working DNA in her eyes. It's like she clocked in for work and doesn't plan on leaving until the job is done. Next up, we've got a legend on this channel. The most powerful female dog that we've ever tested. Betty the Presser Canario. And Betty came in with a massive bite force of 157 kilograms. That's over 346 pounds of crushing pressure. Now let that sink in for a second. 346 pounds of bite force from a female dog is very impressive. Now her handler gave us a very clear warning before we started. Do not touch Betty while she is on the sleeve, unless you fancy leaving with a few less fingers. This is that classic female, no-nonsense, protection mindset. Betty isn't here for games. She isn't here for attention. She's here to lock on and dominate the target. Now here's what made Betty especially interesting. She wasn't constantly maxed out like some of the other breeds we've looked at. In fact, she was pretty relaxed on the sleeve most of the time. But every time she reapplied pressure, the spikes were enormous. You know, these weren't just strong bites. These were intentional surges like she chose to hit hard when she felt it was necessary. And it makes you wonder, does Betty even know how powerful she is? Because honestly, it felt like she was taking it easy on us and she still blew most of the males off of the chart. Now to put Betty's numbers into perspective, let's compare her to a male presser canario. We tested named Rage. Now Rage is a crushing machine. One of the most powerful dogs that we've ever tested, full stop. And just like Betty, Rage had that classic presser style bite. Big pressure, then a dip, 
and then a devastating regrip. Both dogs showed this wave style bite pattern, which is totally different from the herding breeds, like the Malinois or the Dutch herders, who tend to clamp hard and just hold consistently. But even though Rage scored slightly higher at peak, Betty's average bite force was arguably more impressive. With multiple bites spiking above 120 to 130 kilograms, that's 264 or 286 pounds of pressure. And she was doing that repeatedly. So while Rage was powerful, Betty brought a different kind of danger. It wasn't just strength, it was control, timing, and a terrifying amount of intent behind each bite. And at the end of the day, I think both dogs bit with serious intent, but Betty, she just went that extra mile. She wasn't trying to impress anyone. She was just showing us exactly what would happen if she ever had to defend her handler in a real life situation. And to me, this is why she stands out, not just as the strongest female that we've tested, but as one of the most serious protection dogs that we've ever seen. Let's face it guys, the females are just absolute savages. We've tested big males, elite working breeds, and some serious powerhouse dogs on this channel. But time and time again, these females show up and leave their mark. They're intense, they're focused, and when it's time to bite, they bite like their lives depend on it. From Karma the Doberman, Cersei the Bandog, Ninja the Dutch Herder, Tink, and of course, Betty the Beast. These girls showed us exactly why you don't need to be the biggest dog in the fight. You just need to be the dog that means it the most. And this is what I say when we talk about intent. It plays a huge role when it comes to bite force. Cheers for watching guys. We've got more bite force tests coming up. These videos do take a while to organize, but we've got lots more breeds planned to test. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.